Hello and we're back in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. All of those things. <laughs> so we've had a little bit of a, a break. So if we're a little rusty, that's why. But let's get to it. Am I looking at this? Yep, that was the idea. Washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Several dead at a beach house in Santa Monica tonight. Police suspect the slayings were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. Residents of Wasn't the community yep. were shocked by the killings, though neighbors suspected the men in the house to be involved in drug distribution and had seen many strange people going inside at all hours of the night. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. Oh, I'm sure it's not important. As to no. of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. In other news, an apparent third victim of the I think Southland that's repeating now. We've probably heard about the Southland Slash. Although, once again, this is all stuff that's happening, so I really like the way it works. I do. It's like uh, much more modern games obviously have systems where news of what you've been doing has travelled. Like, say, at the radio and Fallout. Obviously, this is this game's getting on. Mm -hmm. Good right. early example of it, though. Yeah, so. Well. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to figure out where we were going next. Tattoo parlor, that was right. Is there anything else we're doing right now? Or is Did we it? look in the box? Well, let's look in the box anyway. Well, it's not unlocked, so maybe we didn't. Ah, now, if you remember... Ooh, what difficulty? Eight. If you have a look at your character sheet, let's see. And then you have a look at your lockpick skill. Hover over it. So if we do a buff, we'll get three extra points. But that's not enough because you need eight so you need pretty darn good security and dexterity um now bearing in mind because you can always do blood because you can always do blood buff you can always increase your dexterity by three points i would kind of ignore that so in other words you would need three points in security to open that lock really oh yeah so just that yeah that would only take it to six Oh, you can experiment as much as you like. Yeah, that would only take it to seven, and I can't do anything well. Okay, yeah, so we can't actually open this right now, even when we buff. So, tattoo parlor, yeah? Was there anything else we want to do? In here? I'm just double-checking before we go, because it's been a while, that's I all. don't think so. I mean, if you want to have a, a quick look at sort of your uh, quest log and see, see what uh, active quests we have going. We've got to get a hold of... Teresa at the asylum, but I think we just decided we were taking a break and doing some side quests before doing the main quest. Yeah. Okay. Go Mercurio. Yeah. We helped him in the end, so, you know. We even gave him morphine, didn't we? Yes. Okay, now I know I've seen the tattoo parlor somewhere. Ah, I think it's there, there. It's the Devil's Brand Tattoo Professional Body Piercing. Also, let's go in. Ooh, gring gringy? Gringy? Dungy and grimy, sure. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know, but I quite like it when you invent new words. <laughs> it's empty as well. So that, what would that make it? What? Grinch empty? Yeah. A gringy? Let's check out the back. Can you empty the cash machine? No. There's a tattooing gun and there's the tattooing chair. It has a neck brace and arm braces. They don't have those. 
At least not in my experience. Can you hear that? No. What, are you, what did you hear? Go back into the other room. This room? Yeah. Now can you hear it? Like I'm buzzing? Yeah. Okay, just continue. Okay. I know what it is anyway, I've just realised. Oh, the phone. Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello? Might I speak with Mr. McGee? Just ignore the fact that that phone's <laughs> just jumped back into position there. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? We've got, I don't actually, what sort of appointment was this? Or, no, actually, I'm looking for him myself. Ooh. Ooh. I suppose they're both true. I'll go for two, because it feels more true. You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? So we've got, um... The honest one, I'm a bounty hunter. He skipped bail a few months ago, and I've been hungry for a coconut flavoured snack ever since. Uh, two, he's just an old friend, so sort of an easy fib. I think Michaela just got the bounty joke. <laughs> uh, three, I'm a cop. This is an ongoing investigation, trying to sort of lend some authority um, and, you know, get the information out of him. And four, which is the sort of the, the secret of that's none of your business option. Yeah, I'm going to go with one. Don't okay. see why we would lie to someone we don't know on the phone. Oh, I, I see. Could you answer a few questions for me? I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little while and maybe see you, but I'm going to go for the first one. We're going to go to Gimbal's, which I think we've already seen. TV. Okay. That looks like it's non-operational. Quick cash for modelling called Gimbal's Prosthetics. I suspect that's if for some reason the phone doesn't ring. Or is it just an extra clue? In case like, you ignore it, maybe. Yeah. Is this the guy who was here needed money? Oh, well, quick cash for modelling and he needs to pay his bond. Can I open this? No. I found that you can read it, though. Oh. <laughs> we need a ducking between those two. Duck between the two. <laughs> I, I don't think it's terribly important really anyway. You can't really read any more than that. And it's an extraordinarily a... shiny, whatever that's supposed to be. Heat me up. Yeah. Oh, so like a, a, a boiler. Yeah, boiler, central heating thing. Anyway. We have a combi boiler, so, you know. Told us where we need to go now. I was tempted to try and read that out. Just go, blood is all important to the courage of both the courts of their existence and the seat of their power. I would be too <laughs> awkward. So I think Gimbal's is just down here, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Curious car. Is it? I'm assuming so because if you follow the blood spatter, he climbed out of the car. Oh. Gimbal's prosthetics. I think if someone was going to come over, I'd have a quick bite, but here we are. Yes, may I help you? I'm on a blood drive. Or I could use some sunblock. Uh, I don't think so. Hello, I spoke with you on the phone a little while ago. Which is what I'll go for. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. Thanks. Buzz. Hello, welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, I am. Who are you? He's just introduced himself. 
Doesn't say who he is, though. Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimble. Stanley Gimble. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Let's talk about Mr. McGee. Tell me a little about yourself, Stan. Which one do you think I should go for? Either. Whichever. Do you want more information or do you just want to get right to business? I don't think it makes a difference. Okay. okay. Mm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But he didn't show up. No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. I see. Does the name Carson ring a bell? Carson? No. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look. I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Yeah, that sounds great. I'd appreciate it. Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment and I'll be right along. Thanks. I'll wait here. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. What? No, really, what? So this is where we came in. This is the intercom, I It's assume. supposed to be a bit weird. Yeah, obviously. Veterans of the game will know. Right, I'm going to have a look at this, though. Carnival of Death. Oh, we've read this one. Okay, just double-checking. A little water cooler. And I think these are literally the same magazines that are everywhere. Okay. Should, do we wait, or should we just get a go? I don't think anything actually happens until you make it happen. Oh, I know, but people who don't know are that. Actually, I quite like the device where it just goes, just wait in this room. Because you're a gamer, you're not going to. Yeah, so we're not going to. Let's see what's behind the door. Looks very uh, dingy. So while we're being creeped out by this, I'll just uh, explain um, that if you pick the other option with Stanley, he explains that he he makes prosthetics, and then he sort of explains that to make better prosthetics, he thought he should uh, have more experience of what it's like to wear a prosthetic, and so he decides, quite out of the blue actually, to chop his own arm off. Oh, so he, well, right. <laughs> so he comes across as uh, a little bit more crazy, although I quite like the, the way you've done it, where he just goes, oh, what beautiful arms you have, I must have them. I was like, excuse you? So we've got a sign, mannequin arms and other parts are 2650 all mannequins on sale for 125 prosthetic limbs val uh, varies per customer, and crash test dummies, 1450 amputees must wait up front. Something is clearly afoot. <sighs> You'd love it. This is so creepy looking. Well, the whole music and the mood has changed as soon as you come into this section, into this sort of weird Victorian basement thing. Gimbal, gimbal. Ladies' heads. There's someone waving over there, which I like. Creaking, I keep hearing. Look up. Why is that one so well lit? Is it just a lamp up Yeah, there? Right. the ones that are lit have lights on them. It's all very off-putting. Always well, good to lock ourselves in. Gimbal boxes. Dad. Under there. Limbs, prosthetics, and mobility aids. Stan Gimbal. Is 
thinking I feel really short for a second, but okay, so there's nothing in there. Oh, like a lot of games of this era, the, the scale wasn't done particularly carefully, so you'll have doors which are huge, TVs which are too wide, things like that. Tools. Blood, which... No, why does take? he have blood in a fridge? He does rather have blood in a fridge. More posters. Call Bill Thursday. Yes. Arms Crank Order 3. Time. Please. And I'm assuming that's where the oh modelling is done against that wall, perhaps? I guess so. Further down. This is starting to look obviously more and more suspicious. Perhaps just even repeated? sinister. Mm. What about the bed? You didn't need to get a look at it. It's stained in the shape of a person, like they were burnt on it, maybe. I'm wary of someone showing up behind me. <laughs> We've got a book. It looks like it might be about surgery. Well, that would make sense in the context. So, various yeah. tools. Bloody sinks. Mm. Continuing downward. Oh ho! Another quite bloody room. The same pictures. Blood everywhere. Oof. More down. Right. <laughs> okay. Do you want to uh, tap an F5? F5? It's quick save, isn't it? Is it? Is it not quick save? It's usually quick save. F9? F9. Oh, okay. Was F5 not doing anything then? I guess not. I'm trying to make sure I remember how to fight things. Like, you can do blood buff and you smack them over the head. How do I change my weapon again? Oh, there's also celerity. Which I believe you have. Which will make you move faster. How do I change my weapon, do you remember? It's scroll. Uh, sorry. It's not scroll. It's F1 and F2. Okay. Possibly being a little premature. I guess so. How do I... F8 to cancel. F8 to cancel. It's H. H for holster. Well, like I said, we might be a bit rusty, but hopefully that will just be this episode. These are a little different. Ladies. Tanny so hot? Tawny, actually. Tawny. Oh yes, I see. More surgery. More implements. Ah. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who? <laughs> you can do it. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, now how do I open this door? Huh? What are you doing here? Ah! Can you use your abilities now? There we go. Oh, yeah.
Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Yo, Carson, I take it? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. You did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Uh, I understand. Well, I'll give him the bad news. See ya. Man, you ain't no fall guy. Later. Oh, you hear that dog barking? I think it's old yellow. I'm out of here. What? What? Which, which bit? Just all of it. <laughs> I feel, it feels a little distracted. I'm going to go for one. Unless yeah, sure. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Yeah, better come back with the police. Well, that was an odd encounter. Oh my god, severed arm. This is a weapon by any chance. I like the wibble of the hand. Mm -hmm. uh, can I bring up my inventory? Yes, mm -hmm. let's have a look at it. A severed arm. We've got uh, some stats, and then although the previous owner probably misses it, you can still put it to good use. Excellent. I thought it'd be nice to have a look at it, and then we'll holster it back. Gimbal's already vanished. Uh, there is the question of Gimbal, is, was he a vampire or not? I got the impression he was just a nut job. Mm. But uh, let's have a look around. That's where Carson was. Ugh. Is that a... That'll be McGee. McGee. Oh, uh, McGrim. And there's obviously back here, which is where, um, What's-His-Face came from. Ah, someone who follows my, uh, method of storing clothing. All over the floor? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Is that it, then? Uh, well, you have to go and talk to Kilpatrick. I suppose, yes. Let's do that. But that little bit of the, the, the mission is over. I was expecting to get the, uh, like a key for the trunk. Oh. But he didn't leave one in his cell or anything, so no. So this was unsettling. High five. All right. Let's get out of here. If I remember rightly, Kilpatrick's is on the other street. Yes. Yeah. I can help you find it if you get lost. I don't think I will. Ossifer? You are a little low on blood. Yeah, I'm tempted to just eat a blood pack. I wouldn't. Are they more useful to keep? Yeah, keep them to heal in combat or places where there's very little blood. There's oh. usually people just hanging around in abandoned areas. Like if you go to your left, for example. I was actually going to see if someone was going to be out outside Kilpatrick's on their own. Like sometimes she's just hanging around in the corner. There's sometimes people by the side of... Uh, the asylum, just sort of hanging out, and you can sort of bite them because they're hidden. Yeah. There's people. You could probably get away with that, although maybe not a good idea. There's often someone down by the side of Kilpatrick's in there, but... Yeah, I'm thinking, will you come down here? Um, you can also, if you get really desperate, you can pop into the sewers and just eat some rats. This lady might be coming this way with me. Was it F? Mm-hmm. I have seen the squirming on the horizon. The worms are stripping the bowels from the skull of the earth. 
Alright, that gave me a little blood. Um stuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we'll catch up with you in a sec. Okay, so we're back. We got out of that. I suppose it's that old handy thing about PC games. Dare I? Nah. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime. Yes, and that's the problem with the dev of the night. It, it starts playing from the beginning. Yeah. Which isn't much use. Well, let's see what Kilpatrick says. Oh, wait. Rescued Cass and report back to Arthur, just in case it said anything interesting. What's shaking? So I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. Oh, I had a few questions for you or nothing right now. Obviously, the right answer is Lewan. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His trigger figure, trigger finger, got cut off by a psychopath. He didn't say why. Can I get paid now? I don't see why we wouldn't tell him. <laughs> Man, that's a tough one. Bounty Hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Very true. Hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. What's the problem? Oh, sorry, but can you pay me now? <laughs> Just to warn you, if you're too nice and you don't mention the money, he won't pay you. Really? Yeah. Should I, do, should I go for it? I, I, I would. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Especially early on, because money's quite important early on. Yeah. Thanks. You were saying? Quest complete. I just wanted to say how much we got. That's fine. 200. Cool. No bad. Right. I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I don't know. What would I have to do? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. So you just want me to find out if he's here or not? Sounds fun. You've got a deal. I'll make sure that's what he wants with one. Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? Uh, I suppose I could do that. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry. We're going to say yes. Why wouldn't we? Great, great. All right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. What's this guy's record like? So just head over to her place? I'll go for one. Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small time stuff, mostly. Uh, what did he do this time? All right, about the pawn shop, you said. Okay, could you tell me about a few places in town? Oh, I'm gone. We want more information, so let's press Most him. recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Okay, so above the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Uh, yes, I hear you. Yeah, I also had a few questions. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take off. Do we want to ask any more questions? Or well, you could just have a look at what's available. Uh, yeah, a few more questions. What is this? Places in town. Thinking, did we do this before? Oh, you mean that club? We get drunk and disorderlies and drug bust out of there sometimes. Some fights. The owners run it pretty tight, though. Mm. I don't think we have. Who are the owners? You know, I'm not even sure. Couple of ladies, sisters, I think. You don't see them around here too much. He doesn't know much. That's fine. He might not come across them. 
What about the Gallery Noir? Ah, yeah, I know the place. Funny thing is, that spot used to hold a stinky old pet store. Now it's some hoity-toity art gallery with wine and cheese and whatnot. What, both wine and cheese? No one can live at that speed. So, yes, very ironic. Now, I wanted to ask you about someplace else, so thank you, Arthur. Goodbye. Those are the only places we could ask about anyway, so I was just going to go for goodbye. Goodbye. And yes, for the record, we live above those crappy apartments yep. above Trip's Auto Shop. While we're here, yeah. why don't we look up Mike Turbin on the... Durbin? Durbin on the computer. It'll say in here, I think. Mr. Durbin. Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BMC. Yeah, so it would be 8F, I assume. I. It's incredible. Look at that shine. Your smile or these dinner plates? Not that? No. Harnessing oh, maybe it's in. Now there's a dishwashing detergent so powerful it doesn't get wet. Actually whitens your teeth. No, what does bonds do then? Cake down food and grease and remain. I don't know. Absorbed into your teeth while you eat. Currently outstanding bonds. Of the future for cleaner plates and whiter teeth. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, that's odd. Uh, yeah. So we've got another little side quest. I figured we'd do some of those, since we do still have the investigating the blood bank one to do. How much money have we got now? Oh, wrong button. Sorry. Bye. Five hundred pound. Looks casual. like you've got a wallet set for a night on the town. I also have a ring I can sell. I have seen the squirming on the horizon. Yeah, I bet you the have. Are stripping the foulness from the skull of the. Shh. The roots of this city. It's one of his better chat-up lines. Oh look, a guy on his own, peeing. Should I do it? Yep. Thank you for your contribution. I'm not sure what the haps are. Ah. Yep. What was that? Eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed a form briefly teleporting past us. Are we going to pop into trips? Because yeah, we've got we loads have of a money. couple of things to sell as well. We have a ring. Kissed and told. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check is... Oh, it's the diary. Okay, I don't think we sell that. Thanks for coming back. What you need? We're buying and selling. What we got today. I'm going to keep this severed arm. Because why wouldn't I? Can you even sell it? Would he even want it? Sell the $26 ring. I think the rest of this stuff is stuff we keep here. I mean, we could sell the bat and then pick up another one. You can't sell it. It has a value of zero. Uh, I mean, I suppose you could say the same thing about the gun. I don't think we really need anything. Unless you think I should buy some bullets. No, I wouldn't bother. Okay. It was just to get rid of that inventory item then, which is fine. I mean, the game makes it clear that pistols aren't much use anyway, against, especially against vampires. Alright, let's check out the apartments up here now. Yeah, we can do loads of things back in the apartment. We can check our email, see if we've gotten any more Mysterious emails, we can check our mailbox, we can uh, try and track down Mike Durbin. Hello, LA. And these are all things we can do next time. We'll see you then.